Today we're gonna to test out and review this TV antenna made by GE. Now I don't think that this particular model is in production anymore, but I do know that GE makes a very similar antenna like this that's also marketed as an attic mount antenna, except it comes with a big curved reflector on the back. And I actually got a great deal on this. I bought three of these. They were on clearance for 10 bucks each at a hardware store when I was down in the States about two years ago. And I thought, well, what the heck? For that price, let's get a few. This antenna is marketed as an attic mount antenna, although I intend to mount it outside to test it out today. And a stern test it will be as all three of my local stations are on the VHF band, two of them on low VHF. It's um, pretty compact and lightweight as well. The longest elements on the back here measure about 29 inches and the overall length of the boom is 14 inches. The boom is made mostly of plastic. So if you're gonna mount this outside, then I would suggest putting it in an area where it's sort of sheltered from the weather, such as under the eave of a house, if that's possible. It also comes with a small mounting pole and bracket and the U-bolt to mount the antenna to the post is attached here at the back of the boom. And turning the antenna over, on the underside there is a built-in 75 ohm connector which is really nice because it's housed inside this plastic boom and you don't have to worry about any external wires breaking. Now I don't live too far from the local broadcast towers in my area, probably only about six or seven miles away, but all three of the stations are on VHF as I said and they're all quite low powered. The two low VHF stations broadcast with only 1.2 kilowatts of power and the high VHF station on channel 9 broadcasts with about 4.5 kilowatts of power. So these stations are realistically broadcasting with far less power than most low power stations would in the US. But even so, I do expect something out of this antenna. So let's mount it and test it out. The adjustable bracket's kind of nice because it gives you some versatile mounting options. And all of the U-bolts have wing nuts attached, which makes for an easier installation. So what I did here was just set up a temporary base with an old concrete deck block with a couple of scrap 2x4s wedged in there. And the antenna itself is mounted on a piece of 1x4 lumber and it's such a lightweight antenna that uh, that's plenty strong for this test. And the antenna itself is probably about nine feet off the ground. So let's go inside and check the signal strength now. And to test out the signal strength, I'll be using this Alluratech digital converter box. All right, so this antenna impressed me with its reception of all three VHF stations with signal strengths consistent across the board registering in the high 60s to the low 70s, with a stable picture throughout. Keep in mind I live close to the broadcast towers, but all three stations are low-powered channels. I think the 50-mile rating is probably reasonable under the best possible conditions, with a clear line of sight to the broadcast towers and in a reception area with high VHF and UHF stations. And remember, mounting the antenna as high as possible will capture more signal and ensure better overall reception. Now I think it's great that I can pick up low VHF TV channels so reliably with such a small, lightweight, compact antenna. But keep in mind that I am very close to the local broadcast towers in my area, probably six or seven miles away at the most. I wouldn't expect good low VHF performance from this antenna unless you're living in a very similar reception situation to mine. Usually the reception of low VHF TV channels requires you use a bigger antenna with much longer elements. So overall, I was happy with the way this antenna performed in my specific reception situation. But generally speaking, this antenna is best suited for receiving channels on the high VHF and UHF TV bands. 
the performance of an outdoor mounted antenna will always surpass the performance of an attic mounted antenna. This antenna performed very well in my reception situation and I'm glad I picked up three of these for such a great price. Unfortunately, you won't find these in stores anymore, so if you want one, you're going to have to look online.